Run it. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Conscious Day Trader, also known as Yanis, which is my real name. And uh, today we're gonna break down the pound dollar trade from this morning. It was very clean. It was an ICT uh, kill zone uh, concept. And I'll show you the entry and when I got out. And we had some really good profit. So let's go and have a look what happened in the pound dollar yesterday. Some A really quick tip. I'm gonna make a video on this, but I think it's uh, if you're an ICT trader, uh, it's super super useful and helpful but also if you're um, um, if you're trading other assets and you want to put a time zone onto your onto your trades you can use this indicator here called FX market sessions and you can adjust the sessions um, to London New York change the time for the kill zone for London for instance from 7 to 10 a.m <clears throat> and the New York you can add the Tokyo uh, kill zones and so on. But let's take that out for now. And I'm going to do it like you're not using uh, this uh, indicator. So what we're going to do is go clear all the chart. And to yesterday was the 21st. So let's go on the replay and take out the 21st. So this is what you would be seeing. And then we're going to go and add <clears throat> our daily high and our daily low with our array horizontal rate um, on the 20th. So I label this the daily high and change this to the daily low. And that's that's the range that we've got. We also want to find the discount and premium price range. So we're going to put a fib on just to create the 50% of the move. And then I change that to call it equilibrium. So we can take that out now. Anything below here is discounted. Anything above here is uh, premium price from the previous day. So then we go down to our 15 minute. <clears throat> and this is uh, what we are on London time. So this would be, we need to go further back. Um, let's see if I can do that. Uh, we're going to go to when I started looking at the market and that was at seven o'clock. Okay, so this is pretty clean. Um, we've got our previous day low, previous day high. We're also looking at a, um, the, the immediate low and immediate uh, high on the 15 minute. And as you can see, it correlates with the high and low of the day. So we don't have to add any more information in there. Uh, so <clears throat> obviously, if you're looking to short this, we would be wanting to move upwards. If you're looking to long this, you're looking for a move downwards um, for the Judas move that we're looking at the power of three. If you haven't uh, watched my previous videos on trading, I talk about these, but you also can find that on the ICT uh, 2022 mentorship. So what we're going to do now is uh, we were just looking at to identify bias. Okay, so we've got all our lines in. We'll go back to the daily. And we want to see what the price is going to do. Where's the areas that it can be drawn to? And uh, there is a fair value gap, if you haven't seen it yet, on the daily. We had this big push here. If we look at that big push, the Fibonacci, we are looking at is retraced to the 61% and this one's retraced to the 61% and if we uh, that's for your scruffy traders here who will follow me um, if you are looking for the ICT fair value gap uh, and we had a fair value gap on the daily there that was filled okay pretty close to the the previous day low so What's the chances of if, if it's going to continue lower? Let's go to our template fair value gap. If it's going to continue lower, what's the next target to take out? There's no fair value gap here. So it would make sense that the um, sell side liquidity. Uh, so the sell stops from the people who have been long would be here. So we'll just label that into sell side. Uh, sorry, sell side liquidity. 
that is a long way let's see uh, measuring tool that's 189 pips away so that's one area to consider the other area to consider is a retracement from this move here what would be the next target we've got a fair value gap here that hasn't been filled and we'll call that fair value gap so this fair value gap this fair value gap we also have on the top of this swing uh, intermediate swing um, high what do we have we have buy side liquidity right there and we can put that in next target after this we've got that fair value gap to go and hit the top of this break here which would be taking out the next target which is up here so a, a lot to play which is also um uh, a fair value gap on the left side here so if we just just out of curiosity bring that in that fair value gap there and we label that now we've got two fair value gaps that are coming together and crossing each other if we looked at the fib retracement on that It's roughly between the 61 and uh, 78.6. So if you're looking at long, this will be a nice area to target for. But what we're gonna do is gonna take this one so we don't complicate the chart. We've got the fair value gap there. So we know buy side liquidity will be there. So if that will be our target for the longs and for the shorts. So my bias at the moment, um, obviously I took this trade, was, was long. I wanted to see, we, ha we had this uh, big sell on last week's, uh, happened on Thursday the 15th, and then we had uh, Friday closing lower, uh, Monday coming back into that um, uh, top side there, breaking into this fair value gap, but didn't push higher and then came back down. We also had some news yesterday that came out, which um, uh, were, um, uh, had an effect on onto the pair so my setup as we discussed was a long that it would go potentially uh, try and take these out the highs fill this gap and then continue lower because I didn't see any other fair value gap apart from down here that this could be drawn to to take out it could obviously come back to this fair value gap and collect more uh, liquidity below this because this technically is your sell side liquidity below this swing low um, so that would be another area where I would be interested and on the day I think I I, I created um, I left the sell side liquidity below this line to give me an indication of where it's going so we have our chart set we're going to go down to the 15 minute and then we're going to see what happened so we're going to play this <clears throat> So it's at equilibrium at the moment. The price started breaking up, which was um, not what I wanted because I wanted the price to come down to play my uh, my trade into uh, the top side here. So as this is playing out, what time we're on? Uh, 12 o'clock. So my trade took place. Let me break down the open. So we had, we had, these are the 15 minutes. So seven o'clock, I took my trade on a five minutes chart. So if we go here, we had this up, it broke there. And for some reason I was looking at the five minutes and this was this would have been a, a really nice entry on the one minute however I, I didn't take this trade I missed this trade and you can't see them all so it broke above broke the structure came back down filled this uh, gap here this will be a, a nice confirmed entry from breaking breaking up this um, structure all the way to the top and I missed that trade, um, which I was really annoyed at the time. 
So what was I waiting? I was on the 15 minute and I saw this break and I wanted the price. Um, let's go back a bit. I even posted this picture on one of the ICT uh, groups and saying that I'm looking for entries um, in this entry here. And that's why I like doing the videos an hour after I've traded because I remember exactly what happened and not the next day in the morning. Um, but the baby wasn't sleeping, so I had to do my dad duties. Uh, so we'll put that as a fair value gap. And that fair value gap. <clears throat> so I had two entries and this is where, um, you know, this. if I waited for this at the time, if I had waited for this, this would be in a perfect entry. But a lot of the times, because the, the, the break was quite convincing, you don't want to miss that boat and uh, it continues higher. So uh, let's go, that's one candle. I got a fill there and then it start pushing even lower. Into a bit of profit. <clears throat> 12 o'clock. So now we're moving in. I carried this through the New York session. Um, and then we had our fill. So I had one small uh, entry here, another two entries here. And I, uh, I was convinced that this is not going to break the previous daily low, which in the end, I did think it, it did break uh, overnight. And I closed my trade at that when it came back to fill my fair value gap. <clears throat> the reason is that these two trades were paid, paid me for the day. And I didn't need, even though I could have held potentially for my original idea that it can go all the way to up there, you don't have to do that because, the, because you're building your position with your hard stops below this daily low. This is where my stop was. If we make that a, let's do it a red. <clears throat> um, that that trade, um, and if you if you if you if you're wondering how much would I have to sit these these ones here were only um, I say only, but it's only two positions, so it wasn't too bad. When you see my trades, you'll see a lot of point fives, and that's called uh, what I do is scruffy madness. So I build positions. Uh, when they go against me, but my because my stop stays um, at the same place, I'm decreasing risk. But at the same time, I'm carrying the same amount of profit, but I'm just not letting every trade uh, run for um, to target. So I'm getting I'm, I'm getting um, more and more profit as it's, as the trade is going on. And I don't need to continue for my full idea. If you want to know more about that, Make sure you follow the Scruffy Trader. Um, he was one of uh, one of the mentors in my trading, and I remember in his Discord as well, which we trade every day. Um, so big shout out to the Scruffy Squad. And from there, what we're going to see um, that that came into target, and luckily I took my trade there because later in the day, yes, I missed that profit. Let's go to the end of this. You will see that if I had held for the original idea going all the way up to that buy side, I would have been stopped out. But there was a plenty of profit there. I got profit there, all the way up there. And even if it came back down, it tagged the top, I would still get profit on that um, that up, up trend there, up move there. So um, the Phoenix, my cat is hungry. So this is a good cue for me to close the video here. I want to show you quickly um, how the trade went. And this was the trade uh, we had, let's zoom in, uh, 388, uh, 413. So that's me closing below my original entry, but obviously the previous uh, paid uh, skip this paid all that for and uh, I was a good day.
I hope uh, this is prime hour now, so 7.50 my in Italian time, getting ready for the next London kill zone. It's getting close to Christmas, so volume might be low, but we will be trading today and maybe hopefully I'll put another video of my trades, positive trades uh, later today. So that's it, that's the trade from this morning. Uh, I really appreciate everyone subscribing and liking the video. Uh, we are creeping up slowly to that 100 mark of subscribers. And I am gonna plan to do more live trading in uh, London and uh, potentially the New York session. Um, if this is useful and it's worth my time, um, then I will, I will do more and more of this stuff. So make sure you like and subscribe because it always helps. And I'll see you next time and hopefully later today.